Miller needs the 40 for a first down. Miller under all kinds of pressure, no chance to get away from it. A loss of 10 on the sack. And this is the, the, the thing I'm talking about, moving the pocket to try to buy a little bit of extra time, and Beasley just read and reacts from that linebacker position. There was a lot to work on against Pitt in that game. We've seen penalties be an issue already for Tennessee. We've seen the deep ball be an issue. Hooker will take another shot here. It's third of the game, back of the end zone. It's caught for a touchdown. He went right back to Peyton, and the third time was the charm for number three. A score of 29 yards. I mean, the air has been let out. Everybody feels like they can relax. Again, a one-on-one -on -one matchup, which you're going to get a ton of. Uh, in this offense that Hypo runs because he spaces you out. He takes advantage, but look at the ball placement in the throw. Just giving your receiver, Jones, an opportunity to go up and make the play. And Colvin's back at home in his natural position at left guard. So Willie Miller with a backwards pass. This is going to be a wide receiver throw, or is it? Metrius Fleming wasn't able to get rid of it. After the turnover, the key here is how obvious it is that the quarterback throws it behind the line of scrimmage. It has to be thrown behind the line of scrimmage to then throw it again. It was a really nice job. Third and 22. Miller over the middle of the field. Poor decision and an interception. A Tennessee takeaway. Now Miller's going to roll out here, try to throw the ball back across his body, and it just sails on him. And McCullough right there, just in the perfect place. Hooker will keep it again. Hooker spins away from a defender inside the five, and toward the goal line, touchdown! Being looked at upstairs. See Hooker being dragged down right at the goal line by Jalen Baker. The ruling was he got in. Where is the ball when his elbow touches? That's the question. Yeah. Were they all one yarders? Don't ask that question. <laughs> it's too late. It's fast. Hooker's going to take a shotgun snap here. I'll give it to the freshman Jalen White. Right needs a half yard. He gets it. He vultures the touchdown away. And Tennessee is on the board with a second score. And then Tennessee in the legs of Hendon Hooker. Designed off schedule. Athleticism of the quarterback, taking advantage of light box counts in the run game. The touchdown pass to Peyton. And then the one yard touchdown plunge from right. Back to him. Jalen Light, a shifty run, a first down. Out across the 20. We talked to Alex Golas, their offensive down. coordinator, yesterday. It was the arm of Taylor that hit Willie Miller, not the crown of the helmet. So Davis Shanley checks in. His first pass is complete, but complete for a loss to Quentin Cross, a loss of three on the play. You know, I, I think Hendon Hooker by far would be the most athletic quarterback that he's had. Fourth down attempt again for Tennessee. They'll throw it for a first down, Javante Payton. Second one, they tried to draw them off sides. Hooker looking to throw, looking left the whole way, first down. It's Vilas Jones inside the 15, and Jones down the sideline will score a touchdown. He had the 89-yard kick return, called back to a penalty to start the game. Well, here's the last touchdown pass on fourth down. Josh Heupel goes for it again, and it's just putting confidence and trust into Bayless Jones into the boundary to be better as a scholarship guy. They've dipped into the transfer portal as well. There's a lot left to do in recruiting, but the vibe around the program is certainly better. Hooker gets away for pressure. Hendon Hooker will take off for a first down, and Hooker is absolutely crushed. The ball comes out. Tennessee Tech has it. Cameron Hudson going the other way. Hooker late to get up behind the play as Hudson takes up the fumble across the 30-yard line of Tennessee. Hendon Hooker here gets flushed out of the pocket, and it looked like he kind of got caught in this awkward area of trying to slide or maybe hurdled the guy. Dwayne Alexander felt like their best combination was Parker, who's the backup kicker, who did kick two years ago, with Olsen holding. First down run for Tyon Evans. And a good one. Gain of 
So pretty cool family moment for them and an experience of a lifetime for those guys. Abby, you said they were so excited as Miller runs free for first down. So excited when they got their sideline passes a couple of days ago. Quarterback design run is trying to slide. And as he's kind of giving himself up and going down at the last second, Warren Burrell kind of gets caught into an awkward position there as well. Running back is right. Hooker keeps it, flips it for an easy walk-in touchdown. Jacob Warren, the Knoxville native, with his second of the season. You go run, run inside. Everybody's creeped up at the line of scrimmage, expecting it to be a run at the goal line. And Josh Heupel dials up a touchdown pass to his tight end. One second release block, so that defender guarding him in man sees that. Seeing tackles first couple of weeks. And Lee Tennessee rushes three line and coverage pass is intercepted. This could be going the other way. Alante Taylor down the sideline and Taylor takes it to the house. Great job by Alante. During the return, the returner stepped out of bounds at the 39 yard line. First down. Let's see right here. out oh man oh, all right, right there. there yeah second and nine after a run of a yard by Evans hooker on the pass this time completes it first down more to go Jimmy Callaway with a 44 yard touchdown a week ago or for the quarterback to really get a good feel of what the defense is doing hooker keeps it on third down first down throw and this is Walker Merrill spinning inside the five. Merrill is down around the one yard line. Tennessee has not been great in these short yardage spots this year. They're without Jabari Small today. Hooker keeps it this time and he will score on the ground. And then Hooker gets his rushing touchdown. His first of the game, his fourth total touchdown. Bo Nix and Auburn going on the road. Bo Nix has been a completely different quarterback at home than he has on the road. First pass here intercepted. Shanley's pass taken away. It's Solon Page inside the 10. He'll score. There's your pick six, Tennessee. Wave. A pick six for the red shirt senior Solon Page the third. His offenses lead the country in every category. Third and goal over the top. It's Ty and Evans for the Tennessee touchdown. Offers of Eric Gray and Ty Chandler. All seven touchdowns for Tennessee. Evans over the top and Rocky Top. Guys, I love it. And Tennessee uh, volunteer fans have absolutely taken off with it, guys. Uh, the rest of the way. And when guys go down, you got to be able to step up. Depth, depth is of the utmost importance. Nice tackle there, Keith Price. Latch on to people and say, hey, this is how we're going to do it. Martin under all kinds of pressure. And his pass is picked off. To Marion McDonald, the sophomore safety with his first career interception. They forced. Quarterback rolls out. And to Marion with the interception. Fourth one of the day. Bailey. And he will go down. Harrison Bailey sacked for a loss of three. And Bailey getting them back to the line quickly. Harrison Bailey will keep it. Who needs Hendon Hooker? Who needs Joe Milton? First time this year for Tennessee. Trying to make the most of it. The sophomore scores in Knoxville. And he has brought his family on this journey with him. Four kids they've all either gone to or go to. Tennessee Tech, including his daughter, Kate. Abby, how good is yours? That's what I want to know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that for you guys. Wise decision as Quentin Cross comes up with a That's long ball in third and 18. 38 yards. Who is seven for in here? The one incompletion was an interception in his first game, and he'll be sacked again.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.